Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is contains duplicate 2. In this question, we're given an integer array called nums and also an integer k. We have to return a boolean value true if there are any two distinct indices of i and j such that the elements pointing at i is equal to the element pointing at j and the absolute distance between those two should be less than or equal to k. So if this condition meets, we have to return true else we have to return false. So here you can see this is the input array nums and this is the integer k. So 1 is appearing at a distance of 3. So this is the first occurrence of 1 and this is the second occurrence of 1 and the absolute difference between them is 3. So we return true. Now let's take a look at this example and see how this question can be solved. I've taken the same example given to us 1 2 3 1 and k is equal to 3 and this is the condition given to us and we need to find two elements which have the same value and we need to see if the absolute difference between those two elements is less than or equal to k. Absolute difference meaning the distance between those two elements. So to solve this question we're going to use a hash map where the key is going to be the array element and the value is going to be its last appearing index position. So let's start filling the hash map by iterating through the nums array from left to right. So i is pointing at the first element, let's draw the hash map. The first element is 1, we check if it is present inside the hash map, no it is not present so add it as key and set its index index is 0. Now go for the next iteration. Next iteration i is pointing here. Check if that element is present inside the map. No it's not present. So insert it and set its index as its value. So index is 1. Now go for the next iteration. i is pointing at 3. Check if it is present inside the map. So set that element as key and set its index as its value. Index is 2. Now go for the next element. i is pointing at 1. Check if it is present inside the map. Yes 1 is present inside the map. Now we need to find the absolute difference. So these values represent i and the current index represents j. Now we can find the absolute difference. Ab absolute difference is 0 minus 3 abs of minus 3 is equal to 3. We need to check if this 3 is less than or equal to k. Yes, 3 is less than or equal to 3. So this condition goes true. So we return true as the output. Now let's try for one other example where the output will be false. I've taken the same example given to us. Let's do the same steps. i is pointing at the first element. It's not present inside the map. Set its key and value will be its index. Next element is 2. It's not present. 2 and 1 will be inserted. Next element is 3. 3 is not present. Set its index as value. Next iteration i is pointing at 1. Check if it is present inside the map. Yes 1 is present inside the map. So get its value. Value is 0 and its current index is 3. So this will give you 3. Check if this 3 is less than or equal to 2. No it is not. So we have to replace its current value with its last index. Now once new index is 3, its previous index was 0. So for example if there was one more 1, this 1 is of no more use. So we have to update its value with the last occurring index. Last occurring index is 3. So 0 will become 3 in the value section. Now go for the next iteration. Next iteration i is pointing at 2. Check if it is present inside the key. Yes, it is present. Find out the absolute value. Abs of its last occurring index was 1 and its current value is 4 which is equal to 3. Check if this 3 is less than or equal to k. No, it's not. 3 is not less than or equal to 2. So updates 2 value with the last index. Last index was 4. So 1 will become 4. Now go for the next iteration. Now i is pointing at 3. Check if 3 is present inside the key. Yes, it is present. Find out the absolute value. Its last occurring index was 2 and its current index is 5 which is equal to 3 again. Check if this 3 is less than or equal to 2. No it's not. So update 3's value with last occurring index which is equal to 5. Now go for the next iteration. Now we reach the end of the array and we haven't found any value so we return false as the output. Now let's implement these steps in a Java program. Coming to the function give it to us. This is the function name and this is the input nums and the integer k. And the return type is a boolean. So you have to return either true or false as the output. So let's start off by creating a map. So this hash map will have integer as its key and also integer as its value. And then using a for loop, I'm iterating the input array nums from starting index till the last index. Now we are going to check if the element at nums of i is not present inside the map as key. If it is not present, we have to put that element into the map. So that element will be the key and its index position is going to be its value. And in the else block, it means that that element is present inside the map. So opposite of this statement is the else block. And inside the else block, I'm calculating the difference between the 
current occurrence of i and the existing occurrence of that element so i'm calculating the difference and now i'm checking if the difference is less than or equal to k if that is the case return true and this is the important part so if the difference is greater than k we have to put it back so we have to replace that elements index with the new index and this will happen for all the elements inside the nums array so after the for loop ends and if you haven't returned true in any case it means so there is no such element satisfying this condition so we return false as the output now let's run the code the test cases are running let's submit the code and our solution has been accepted so the time complexity of this approach is o of n where n is the length of the input array nums and the space complexity is also o of n because we are using a hash map to compute the output that's it guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video